Kevin? Everything is great. Plan. Many. Is that all? Yes, let's go. Well, hey, how's everybody out there on uh, the USA uh, for NASA TV? I think the, we're doing this. Uh, so I'm here with uh, Oleg and Yevgeny, and we just uh, are six days prior to our launch. And a tradition is to, uh, all cosmonauts who fly out of the Cosmodrome come out here and plant a tree for their first flight. And since this is the first flight on Soyuz for all three of us, uh, we were lucky today and we all planted our trees together. And it's a great tradition. Uh, when we have a chance to return, hopefully someday I'll come back for somebody else's launch, come back out here, see how my trees are uh, doing. Just like uh, we walk around and look at all the other cosmonauts and astronauts who are out here and kind of re relive the history of the Cosmodrome out here. So it's really, really a great tradition up and down all these walks to come out here and see really the history of space flight from the Cosmodrome here in Kazakhstan. Did you change something in the vehicle globally? You cannot change anything. But all crew members can have their own remarks, but in most cases they can fix that themselves. We took some souvenirs with us, some personal items, and these souvenirs will be in space, probably. This is the most important one we took. Well, I've, I've just always loved things mechanical and doing things outdoors, and 
I started uh, flying at a young age, so I loved aviation, and uh, became a test pilot and an engineer. And it was just kind of the, the next step for me to uh, to apply to be an astronaut. And of course, I think there's there's not a more exciting job. So to me, it's just uh, it's the best job on the planet and off the planet. Tell me please about um, um, a little uh, fish, uh, ah. uh, goldfish. Uh. They're fish, but they're actually madaka fish uh, from Japan. And they're part of a study in the Japanese lab Kibo that will look at bone loss and construction on orbit, osteoclasts, osteoblasts. And their bones are just like human bones or mammals bones. So it'll be a very good study for osteoporosis, for bone loss in, in elderly people. Thank you. Hey, Kevin? Kevin? Can you tell us what kind of activity you participated in today and what's your impression of it? Well, this is uh, the, our last chance to see the rocket all packed up and ready to go for launch day. It's already inside the shroud and now they'll just lie it down and attach it to the front of the rocket. All of the, uh, the payloads are already strapped on to what we like to call the divan. It's, it's a big place on the one side of the bayo, they'll put all the, the loads in there and they've filled up all of our food containers and they've completely configured our seats and everything so it's ready to fly. So it's uh, our last chance to see everything. Uh, it looks beautiful inside and uh, we're very satisfied with it and ready to go fly uh, in just a few days. Tell you about the Soyuz. Well, uh, today the Soyuz is all encapsulated now inside its route and ready to go. And uh, it's all loaded up with our flight. Our sea liners are in and everything is put in place to fly. Special things we requested plus all the, the payloads that we'll deliver on 32S for Expeditions 33 and 34 on there. So all those time, time critical payloads, we had a chance to review and see where they all are so that we could get to them quickly and uh, get them in position in ISS for the mission. Uh, what about space team? Uh, about my space crew? Very experienced in the, uh, in the training environment and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing them fly for the first time in Cosmos. They have all the skills they need and we uh, can get along like brothers. So uh, we are, we're really ready to go spend five months at the base station. We are like family members. We, they're very close. And finally, the vehicle is ready. The crew is absolutely great. We were training together, so it was really, really great. For the first time, the vehicle had its name, Yuri Gagarin. It was named in honor of the 50th anniversary of the first human flight. And the rescue team found some fragment in the steppe of Kazakhstan and then gifted it to our museum. Pavel, have you signed it yet? Yes, yes, some time ago.